Hey folks, Budget RC here. Today we're going to show you how to wire up some cool LED lights on your radio control car. What we have here is an ECX circuit and we've got some LED lights on the front bumper as well as a police light bar on the roof. And I'm going to go through the installation of both. Now one really neat thing about the police light bar is that it's actually controlled by the third channel of the receiver here. So we can turn it on and off as we want. So we're going to go through the installation. Okay, so I've got everything apart here. And the first thing I want to go over are the, uh, the installation for the lights up front. This is a real simple installation. Um, these lights here plug directly into an unused port on the receiver, and they're on whenever the ESC is turned on. Uh, this happens to be uh, a Traxxas set. Um, I've shown on previous videos that I've installed the Traxxas front bumper on here, as well as the Traxxas lights. You can check out that video for installation instructions on that. So the Traxxas light kit comes with the wiring that you see here. Um, it goes to a JST style plug here um, and then it's got an extension um, and on the other end of the extension it uses a servo style plug so that you can plug it right into an unused port on your receiver. Um, you can see that we've got uh, a GT2B Hobby King Fly Sky receiver here. I had an unused port and I just plugged it in right here. Now the other thing I've done is to put the light bar on the roof and that's a little bit more involved and what we have here is the controller for it. This is a Dr. Mad Thrust on off switch. I got it from Hobby King and I'll provide the link below. And this is wired over to yet another unused port on, on my receiver. Um, the difference here is that what this does is allows me to, uh, to turn it on and off. By using the channel 3 port on the receiver, I can use the channel 3 button on my controller. And in doing that, it turns this on and off. Uh, there are a couple options. There's the Dr. Mad Thrust. There's also this Turnigy on-off switch. Uh, the difference with this Turnigy switch is that this really works more like a relay. Um, you've got your, your power in and your power out, and turning the switch will activate that pass-through just like a relay will. So there's a little bit more wiring, but the beauty of this is that you can get you can use it for a little bit higher current applications. But for a low current LED application, I think this Dr. Mad Thrust is a better option because it's just plug and play. Um, the only thing I had to do on this was uh, was wire up a plug on the uh, on the light side uh, because it didn't use it didn't use the uh, the servo style plug. Okay, so now we'll take a quick look at the light bar itself. Um, you can see that this light bar mounts with four screws right to the body. And on the front, it's got red and blue LEDs, and on the back are amber LEDs. Now, if we turn this over, you can see underneath, I've got my wiring. Uh, originally, this came with much longer uh, wiring for the, for the two sets of buttons. I elected to shorten it and wire them directly instead of using the quick disconnects that it comes with. Um, what these buttons are for is to control the way the lights themselves work, and it's got independent control of the amber and the blue LEDs. Um, and it's also got the main power, which is what I've routed here. And I just used a little sticky here um, with a wire tie uh, to, to fasten it and to keep it from putting stress on, on the end of the wire itself. And a couple of pieces of tape and another one of those stickies down here. And this plugs directly into that Dr. Mad Thrust receiver or controller right here. Now one thing I did do this came with a different style plug. It actually came with a 9-volt battery connection. So if you want to run directly to a 9-volt battery, you can, you can use it just as it comes out of the box. I elected to put this servo style end on it so that I can plug directly into that Dr. Mad Thrust. And that's really about all there is to it. Um, it was a pretty straightforward installation. I didn't have to set any trims on the Dr. Mad Thrust. As soon as I put it on, everything worked just as I would expect. Um, and it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I think my son's going to really enjoy this. Just to give you another quick demonstration, plug this in, and when we turn on, you can see the default setting is off, and then when I push the third channel of my controller, it comes on. And just to show you the back, there's your amber. So that's it folks, uh, it's a pretty straightforward installation, it's not real difficult. Um, and uh, it gives you the opportunity to do some really neat things here. So we've got our, uh, our front lights on all the time. We've got the controller for the police lights. And now we've managed to make uh, quite a neat looking little setup for this vehicle. 
So if you guys have any questions about this installation or any questions in general, please uh, feel free to leave your comments below. Uh, until next time, this is Budget RC. Thanks very much.